Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam. You're watching Unlimited Options Investing. Oh, oh, what happened to Netflix stock? Down 25% after hours. It was trading at $348 for most of the day. Earnings comes in, bang. Down at 260 and is it even gonna go lower than this? All right, so before we get into the video, if this is your first time on the channel, welcome aboard and hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, and check out my description below for my Twitter, my Instagram, and my TikTok. Check it out. All right, so Netflix shares crater 23%, well, 25 now, after company reports it lost subscribers for the first time in more than 10 years. Shares of Netflix cratered more than 23% on Tuesday after the company reported a loss of 200,000 subscribers during the first quarter. It's the first time the streamer has reported a subscriber loss in more than a decade. And this reminds me actually of Meta Platforms, their last earnings call. And when that stock had cratered from over $300 to $250, it also lost 25% just in an instant. It was the first time they had ever had a decline in daily active users. Netflix blamed increased competition, password sharing, as well as inflation and the ongoing Russian invasion of Ukraine for the stagnant subscriber growth. And I got this from a newsletter in the morning. 35% of Americans have canceled a monthly subscription in the past month. 35% of Americans have canceled a monthly subscription in the past six months due to inflation, according to a recent CNBC survey. Plus, 36% of respondents will cancel a subscription if higher prices persist. But it's not just Yanks yanking the bill. British households have cancelled about 1.5 million streaming accounts in 2022, according to the analytics group Kantar. As subscription fatigue sets in, some new entrants are learning that you can't just slap a plus on your name and cash your chips in. CNN Plus, CNN's new streaming service, is reportedly getting below 10,000 viewers a day, despite its launch budget of $250 million. And I don't know, I never got Netflix because I just, there's no moat. There's so many other people that can do the exact same thing. They're a one trick pony. They're not growing in any other meaningful way. So this isn't all that surprising. I don't think that the market should be freaking out that this tech company is down 25%. I think it says more so about the company than the broader markets. That's why you have to own companies that are the best at what they do. They have no competition. Their balance sheets are in check and they're growing at substantial rates. So the key numbers, earnings per share, $3.53 versus the $2.89. And that's actually a pretty nice beat. Revenue at $7.78 billion versus the expected $7.93 billion. And global paid net subscriber additions, a loss of 200000 compared with 2.73 million ads expected. Wow, that's a big, big, big miss. And that's the reason why it's down so much. Netflix previously told shareholders it expected to add 2.5 million net subscribers during the first quarter. Analysts had predicted that numbers would be closer to 2.7 million. During the same period a year ago, Netflix added 3.98 million paid users. Checking out their financials, so for revenues, the three months ended March 31st at 7.8 billion compared to 7.7 the previous quarter and 7.4, so cost of revenue at $4.28 billion versus the last quarter at 5.23, which is a lot higher. A big jump from where it was previously, and then even in 2020, uh, a lot of the time it was under $4 billion. Building an operating income of $1.9 billion. Minus off those expenses, and you get a net income of $1.6 billion, which is actually a lot better than the previous quarter. Is that trend of losing subscribers going to continue, or is this the worst that it gets? Inflation settles and people get back their subscriptions again. That's anybody's guess. If you were holding Netflix shares, or trying to play earnings, I'm sorry. Anyways, let me know in the comments below what do you guys think, and do you think this has any effect on the market tomorrow? Is it gonna freak out, and on Tesla earnings even? Let me know in the comments below. Again, take a look at the description for my Instagram, my TikTok, and my Twitter. Subscribe and like the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.